derived from the Greek word geo and metron. Geo means earth. Metron is measurement. So geometry means earth measurement. Measurement of earth is called as geometry. Geometry is introduced by Euclid. So these Euclid is called as father of geometry. So here in geometry we have some basic, basic geometrical figures. Geometry. We have discussed earlier about the geometry. Geo means earth. Metri means measurement. Earth measurement. Measurement of earth is called as geometry. We have some basic elements of geometrical figures that are point, line, line segment, and ray. Some of the parts we have taken. So let's define these all the geometrical figures. Point. Point is nothing but a dot. We take Pencil, put a dot on the paper, we call it as point. Point has an exact location, it doesn't have area, that means it doesn't have any length and breadth. So, point can be represented as capital letters point A, point B, point C, and so on. So this is the point, the line, the set of points, the set of points, the straight path, and let's read on both the directions. We call as line. We have derived the point. Dot is called a point. The set of points on a straight path. The set of points on a straight path on endlessly on both the directions forms a line it doesn't have and on either side so it extends endlessly on both the directions the line is defined by AB and we keep a line symbol on it AB is a line we go to the line segment the part of a line Part of a line is called as line segment. We took a part, we cut two parts, we cut this side and either side, both the sides we cut, and we get a line segment. It has two end points, it's a part of a line. So AB is a line segment, it has two end points. So ray. ray is also a part of line. We cut the line into two parts. Take a line, cut into two parts, and each part is called a ray. So one of the part is this one, OA. Next part is OB. So two rays will be formed when we cut a ray, when we cut a line. So it becomes two rays. It has one end point and the other side it doesn't have any point. So up to now, we have defined some basic elements of geometric figures that are point, line, line segmented ray, and point is a dot. It has exact location, but it doesn't have any area. And the line, a set of points on a straight path, on endlessly in both the directions, we call it as line. So line is denoted by AB and the mark, and the line segment is a part of a line. Line segment is a part of a line which has two end points. We have taken the two points and we cut that part on both the sides. So we get a line segment which has two end points 
and we do not the line segment in this form. So again, we take a line, cut into two parts, and each part is called a ray. So it has one end point either side, it doesn't have any end point. Let's discuss about plane collinear points, open and closed figures, and the exterior and interior of the closed figures. Plane. Plane is a flat surface which extends on both the directions. It has length and breadth, but it doesn't have any thickness. For example, this board is plane because it is a smooth surface, smooth and flat surface which extends on all the directions and it has length and breadth but it doesn't have any thickness you cannot find the thickness of it so this is called as plane so plane is a flat surface flat and smooth surface which extends on both the directions infinitely so let's go to the next one collinear points two or more points like on the same line we call them collinear points two points or more than two points like on the same line we call them collinear points for example this three abc lie on the same line and we call this abc or collinear so if we take any points three points a B and C. Now let's see these three points are not lying on the same line. If we draw a line, we, we can join any two points only. So through the line, we can join the two points with a line. So third point will be left out. If you, draw, if you try to draw AC, you can get a line with, through AC, but that we will be left out. In this case, any one of the points is missing with the joining of the line. So, this A, B, C are called non-collinear points. So, the points which lies on the same line we call as collinear points. These are collinear points and these are non-collinear points. So, let's go to the next concept open and close figures. We'll start with the initial point A and we are drawing with the line segments or with a curve and we join the initial we join the end point with the initial point. So we, we draw a figure starting with the initial point and join and join with the end and with the initial point only, then we call it as close figure. Let's draw another one. So this is the initial point P and we started drawing the line and uh, we join with the initial point only. So this kind of figures are called as closed figures and open figures. Let's try to draw one initial point is this and we stop the end point with B and it has it has different points of uh, initial point at end point then we call it as open figures so this is the initial point we draw and we end with a B so this is open at one side so the initial point and end point are not joined together so this is called as open figures this is also open figure PQ so this is the concept about open and closed figures now let's go to the next concept interior and exterior of closed figures we are drawing diagram so a closed figure we have drawn and the inside of the closed figure the area is the region bounded it is called as interior of the figure interior area of the figure and outside of the figure what is the area is 
wrong there, but the points is wrong there. Points are given. That is called exterior part of the figure. These are points which are cross with the which is which are cross parts are exterior of the figure and uh, inside we have taken the red colored mass that are in interior of the figure we call in inside the figure we call interior and outside the figure we call this is exterior part of the figure so up to now we have discussed the plane and collinear points open and closed figures and interior and exterior of closed figures